princess. Um, we're doing the Marabou live box today. Um, everybody that bought the, the live box should have gotten the easy Marabou um, marble set. And then you should have gotten the aqua gloss finish um, Marabou, which is in a bigger bottle. And you should have also gotten a 17 ounce stemless wine glass, um, which I already have painted white outside. Um, I did take a Walmart bag and put it over my football um, only so when I dip my cup into the water doesn't mess up my football so I did do that I'm just gonna tie it a little tighter on there hey Jessica hi so we're just waiting for a few more people I don't want to get started before everybody gets on and so they don't miss anything Hey, Lindsay. Danielson. Hi. It is so hot in Georgia today. It's extremely hot. Hey, Summer. She said, hey, hey, pretty lady. Hi, hi. I'm going to try this this afternoon after you do it. I'm so excited. That's what Shannon yes. said. Yes. It's going to be awesome. I have a couple of prepped cups outside. So, I spray. I just spray painted mine white. Hey, Shayla. Hi, Teresa. Hey, guys. We're just waiting for a couple more people. Hello, Miriam. So, I did want to show you guys something. Hello, Brittany. To throw in there the other day. Hey, Gloria. I got a mess, or I saw something. And somebody to said Voli. to shove your used glove into your little plastic Hi, Stephanie. Cup. From Alaska. Ooh. So, I, so you shove your new glove off and you shove it in your little plastic cup that you use to mix up your epoxy. Hi, Lexi. And then when it is all dry. Hi, Annette. That's hot, Shannon. She says 103 there. Ooh. Hi, Robin. Um, you pull Hello, your Brenda. glove out. And all of your dried epoxy is stuck to your glove. It's like magic. It's magic. And then you can reuse your cup because your epoxy is not in there anymore. So I did it with a couple of my cups. Um, those are still sticky, so yeah. But you could just shove your... I think I shoved this in after it was done. No, it pulled it out too, so... You can reuse your cups. Um, just make sure you shove your glove in there very well and all the epoxy sticks to your glove. And then once you pop it out of your plastic cup, you can reuse it. Like. Yeah, that one's not ready yet. I just epoxied these cups, so I have those ready for that one. Brittany said that's a stinking awesome trick. I've been going through cups like crazy. Yes, I have two because I don't mix enough epoxy at hmm. one time. So I have to mix. I use, and then you can't see out of your cup after you've used it for epoxy. Um, so I have to get a new cup to see the measurements on the side. So I felt that was a super cool trick so that you can reuse your cups because I use a lot of them as well. Cynthia said, I wish I had known that. Just threw cups away. Yep. We're at about 100 people. Okay, we're going to go outside. Uh, it's super bright outside. I've got my bucket out there. To so everybody that got the Marabou Live Box. Yes. Got the Marabou Easy Marble Set. Um, it's the starter set. It comes with six colors. Um, and then you also got the Aqua Gloss Varnish. And then you got a 17 ounce stemless wine glass. So... We can go outside, and I've got my bucket of water out there. I tried it in my kitchen once, but you can actually smell the, 
like I guess the marabou paint so you can smell them very well. Uh, so I don't want to do it inside because it smells so strong. So we're definitely going to go outside and do it. So. Yeah, and me. you could probably find all these products individually on Glitter Craze. Yeah. Um, for whatever reason, we, we don't really know what's going on. But the uh, the Mirabu Live Box thing is not showing on Glitter Craze anymore. I don't know yeah. if something happened and it got kicked off. but um, I could, didn't see it on the site anymore because I had someone else message me and ask me where they could find it. And I didn't see it anymore. But I do think that they have the, um, the six-piece Mirabu kit like this. Um, and this is just like the gloss varnish. Brittany, that's what I was talking about. I don't know if I, the, I couldn't find it. Because I was actually yeah. going to tag it for you guys so you could see it. Um, but I can't find the Heather box anymore. So yeah. we don't really know what's going on. Maybe Tammy can tell us. Uh, but Maybe the new when the new site switched over or something. Yeah, we'll see. But really sure. we're going to get started. Someone else message me about Hi, Irma. Too. So we're going to go outside. I got my bucket ready out there. Don't mind our house. It's super hot outside. We got our kids a swimming pool. Don't mind us. Yeah, don't mind the baby pool. So I did fill this up with water, um, probably about thirty minutes ago. Um, Is so, it warm? Hmm? Is it warm now? Yeah, it's pretty warm. I set it out in the sun. I've always read that doing it with your water warm is better than cold water. Hi, Joyce. So, I Welcome. did put a plastic bag around my football just so that it would help hold it on there better and the football wouldn't get wet on the inside of the styrofoam. And these are all my cups that I painted. Yeah. I got I to gotta make her a spot where, because we were trying not to get paint all over the bricks. So we get not MacGyvered yeah. some cardboard up there. But yeah, she's got these dumb waders that she can spin around and spray them. Spin it and on. spray them. It's easier that way. Um, so, let me get down here. Hey, Leslie, you want to sit here? No. Um, you, want a, you want a seat or a chair or something? Yeah. Is it concrete hot? Mm, kind of, not really. Okay. So, this is black and blue, and this is white. My cup is already white. So... Hey, Leslie, I don't know if I said hey to you. Let's do... Hmm. Hey, Suzette. Red and black cup. That sounds pretty cool. I forgot my skewer. So you just shake your marabous into your bucket. There's an ant crawling around it. And then, oop, I got some on my lid. I'm gonna do the black since I'm in Georgia. I've got a lot of Georgia fans around here. So, can't go wrong. It's with not alcohol drinks. ink, actually. This is the Easy Marble Marabou paints. And you wanna make sure that your whole top layer is has paint on top of it. We'll go back in with a little bit of red to kind of mix it up. Hey, Geraldina. Is that your red again? Yes, I'm going back in with the red again just to break up some of that black. This is the Easy Marble Marabou paint. You can find it on the Glitter Craze. If you can't find it on there, in case they're out or something, they've got them on Amazon. You can get them on there too. So yeah, I got it on my hands. Um, I do, I'm gonna run inside real quick or maybe I can use a stick. We'll use a stick. Right, go dogs. Redneck. Redneck ingenuity. I'm feeling it today. So, um, usually you would use a skewer, but I forgot to pick or some. Or a dowel rod. Yeah, or a dowel rod, a small one. Um, so you can mix your colors together like this to give it a nice swirl pattern. Um, I have seen people do what they call locking it into the side and pulling it up along the edges like that. And that just kind of locks it into the sides. What up, Sherry? Hi, Sheila. Roll, and, roll Tide, says Ryan. So, I'm going to put my hair up because it's getting in my face. You're going to get all of your hair. I don't know. Ain't she pretty? 
I'm a natural. <sighs> okay. Hi, Annette. So, I've got my cup painted white on my little PVC pipe that I use for my cup turners. Um, and the key to this is trying to chase your uh, marabou that's in your bucket as well as twisting it as you go down. So I go went down at an angle. And I'm twisting it as I go. And then you want to shake it before you pull it back out just to make sure that you get all of, so it doesn't go back, it doesn't stick on it again once you pull it back out. The plastic measuring cups. It was just a glove. Just the glove that I used. Hi, Brandy. So that's what it looks like. You can see the white underneath it. Looks super awesome. That white shows goes well in there. You do want to try and shake off, jiggle. You can take a paper towel and blot the uh, the marabou that's on there. <sighs> Blow the water off, shake it off, all that. Good like shit. Taylor Swift. Shake it off, shake it off. Ba, ba, ba. Uh, I'm gonna run inside real quick, and I'm gonna put this up on my cup. And then another one, and we'll do another one. Maybe green and blue, or green and yellow. What colors do you guys think? Pick some colors, guys. I'm gonna show you guys the uh, the colors that we have available to us. That way, we can pick them together. Who's seen uh, Finding Nemo, the musical? If you haven't, I'm about to share a song with you. <laughs> together, do it together. Cooperation is the secret to our success. All right, actually, they're on the tops. I'm a dum-dum. Okay, so there's all kinds of different colors. We're going to go through the different colors here and see exactly which ones you guys want to do next. Um, it does look super cool once you get a chance to actually do it. So there's a... There's a medium yellow, a rich green, and blue, and a ruby red, and a white. The base of our internet kind of disconnected for a second there, guys. Sorry. Blue, green, yellow. Should the base paint be glossy or matte? We say matte. Yeah. We, we use matte for everything. It's actually glossy that I is accidentally it? spray painted it. Yeah. We usually use matte. The marabou, I don't think it really matters. Green and blue with a drop of yellow. Okay, so right now a red red and the black is out. So we're we have, the consensus has I've gotten maybe four people. The green and blue seems to be the most popular. Sweet. I like it. So before you dip in the cup and if you're using the same um the same bucket so that you to dump all of your water out, you want to make sure... It keeps freezing, Suzette. Sorry about that. With us being outside, the internet's not connected as strongly. You can leave the bucket up on the porch right there. You want to use a, a paper towel to get out all of your excess color. Um, just so that it doesn't go on to your next... Someone cup. said black and yellow. That would be cool. That would be cool. You have a couple of different ones, right? Angela's watching. Nice. Okay, so I just do that just to get a lot of the marabou out of there, all the excess color that I don't really want. We'll do this one on a 15 ounce hog. Hi, Marley. We're about to dip another. About to dip another one. She's already dipped the first one. I yes, can I can show you guys that one. Red and black. Uh, let's do red. So we're going with blue, green, yellow. Yeah. Blue and green. Some people say blue, green with a yellow. Okay. So you just shake your color in there. Okay. Now you There's my green.
my blue. And here is She my... has done a fabric cup, Leslie. You can actually Google um You can look in the group, Google you can uh, you can search, search it within the group. Search the uh photos for the group there's an album and the album has heather's lives and in all the comments is going to show all the different lives that we've all done the links to all the lives that we've done in the group but yes we have done a fabric cut i feel like my blue needs some more Okie dokie. My hands are a bit messy. She does sell them. So, I got another stick out of my front yard. And I want to swirl them together. Lock my colors in on the side. Yep, yeah, this is a nice little side business that we she started, what, back in September? Of last. Yeah, I think it was September. And has learned a ton since then. She's gotten really good at it. Okie dokie. So I got my 15 ounce. You do want to make sure that whatever size cup you have, that you can um, put your cup all the way in the water. Um, and without it, I guess, like, touching the bottom, you want to make sure that you have enough water in your bucket that's going to go above the top of your cup once it's all the way in there. Um... And you want to twist, doing a twisting motion downward. So here goes our blue, green, yellow. So do it down at an angle. And I'm going to twist it and chase the color around. Shake it. That looks super cool. So that is what that one looks like. Yeah, super cool looking. Um, you do want to spray seal this before you... Um... You were asking about where to find the, the live past. Um, let's see, Gloria. You can find the album. There's an album in the photos of the Glitter Craze page. So you'll be able to see albums under photos. And then there's a Heather's Live... You're welcome, Robin. She said, they said it looks like peacock colors. It looks like a tropical yes, island. It does. It looks pretty awesome. Lisa says like she missed her decal, notification again. Uh, with a decal over it, you will be able to, uh, you'll be able to, you know, it'll add a good color to it once you just add a decal. Like, this looks like a Green Bay Packers to me. I don't know why. Um, if it was just green and yellow, the blue yeah. makes it slightly less, but. The, I do want to mention that before you actually epoxy a marabou cup like this, um, once your cup dries, you want to seal it, spray seal it before you epoxy. Um, marabou is kind of sticky and it can repel epoxy, so you do need to um, spray seal it before you epoxy it after all the water is off and it's dry. Um, I do like to sling out mine, my water. All over my legs. Cup. Yeah, all over Cameron's legs. So, <laughs> that's always helpful. Shauna um, said it looks Van Gogh-ish. Van Gogh-ish. Ooh. Hi, Cabrina. So, yeah, this one's a 15 ounce and then um, just a 15 ounce skin. I can see the Starry Night Sky. I could see that by Van Gogh. Oh, yeah, that's true. Definitely looks super cool and super awesome. Woo -woo. Woo -woo. So, yeah. That's all you got to do for it. You can pat it dry with a paper towel if you want to try and make the drying process faster. Um, and I just stand them up on the top of my cup turner um, and let them drip dry. Make sure I don't have any cups turning that is still wet. <laughs> Lisa said, life's a beach. Is what you should put on it. Yes, I like that. Maybe add some Kelly glitter. said, it's nice. I need to buy some micas from you. Yeah, I like the micas. Those are super cool. Um, so yeah, we can go inside and I'll show you guys so far how the opal cup is going um she uses the matte two times 
clear. Clear. Yeah. That's grape. Hold on. It's right there. It's this one? Yeah. Yeah, this is the one she uses. It's just the Rust-Oleum 2 times Ultra Cover Matte Clear. Sold at Walmart. I can show it up close again. The cup. Leon says she searched this morning and watched your live on Blood Splatter in the hotel. It was awesome. Yeah, yeah, my customer really. Marley loved said that you have cup. to do you have to rinse it like you do uh, with spray paint. We don't rinse ours. Mm -mm. No, I just wait for the the water to dry that's on it. And we did get a pool. <laughs> yeah, it's a baby pool for the it's little for tiny the babies. Ones. It's for the little tiny babies. You're welcome, Bonnie. But yeah, we can go inside and I'll show you guys how far I've gotten on the opal cup that we're gonna maybe do later. Tonight. It's hot. Yeah, I'm like sweating. The difference is you you sweat sexy sweat. I sweat man sweat and mine stink. You smell like Victoria's Secrets. I don't know about that. So Top selling think, perfume. I did put a... This is the opal that we yeah. did the other night. Um, I'll probably sand it and do one more layer of fast set on it before we do the rest to it. Okay, is my flash not coming on? That's odd. Anyway. Sometimes it's picky and choosy. It's the opal. Yeah. So this one we're going to go over it with alcohol inks, and we'll probably do that a little bit later today. Um, also, colors of a peacock is what she said about that one. I can kind of see that. Yes, I can too. And Tori said, how do you time manage working and children in cups? Um, it's very hard. I'm very tired at the end of every day, so it's not very easy. Heather does sweat glitter. I agree. I should. I have it everywhere, so... I don't understand why. <laughs> Leslie said, you don't sweat, you sparkle. <laughs> I sparkle. I'm glisten. So. You want to show both of the? Mm -hmm. I think I can probably see them off in the distance there, but up close. We can this hit you with the ones we did. The red and black. We mixed red and black on it. Looks super. It's kind of got a smoke method look on yeah, that one side. Yeah, it does. You know what, that would be really cool if you turned it into a peekaboo. Yeah. If you sealed it and then put something over it, like a Georgia Bulldog G, mm -hmm. that would look really good. Like a big one, like you stenciled it. Yep. It looks pretty cool. And like I said, you can just... Fire away, Shannon, with a question. I have a glittered one with epoxy. Do I need to sand before I'm marabou? Did I see a tie-dye cup? No. So she is what? Um, oh no, that Raina's one is going to you know be that one? motherhood cup. That's I just guess. a bunch of glitters. Yeah, it's just a bunch of glitters I dumped on there with wet epoxy. Kathy said, "I think I'll do a red and black for a fireman's cup. I need to do. That's a good idea. The red and black is gorgeous. It turned out great. Firefighter's cup yeah. seems to be a pretty good consensus. That'd be pretty awesome." Or an, or an elephant for Roll Tide. I think that's... Yes. Isn't that... Alabama like a crimson color, though? It's supposed to be? It's just red. Is it? Yeah. I thought it was more crimson. What's the difference? Crimson's like a darker, like a dark red. I don't think so. Tori said, me too. I work as a legal assistant for a family lawyer, and I have a daughter, and a stepdaughter, and way more cup orders than I expected. Yeah, I didn't expect for mine to take off the way that they did. Um, I just did some... Wedding cups, red and black. That would be pretty cool. Yeah. I just did some cups just for fun. I started out with a single cup turner. Um, and just like a couple cups. And it's turned into this. The best way to go about doing it, guys, to be honest, this is the way that we ended up doing it, is she started out with one cup turner. Um... Every bit of money that she made as far as profit on the cups went straight back into buying more cups, buying more product, buying more glitter, buying more this, buying more that, until eventually she had to where I went to Lowe's, got the wooden supplies, and we bought the motors, 
made the tumblers, made the uh, cup turners by hand. Got a shelf from a neighbor. That's not a shelf we bought. <laughs> it's a shelf from the neighbor. Except all the glitters that she just kept reinvesting into it. And like I said the PVC pipes bought from Lowe's, cut to the footballs that we put on there. You guys know we bought from Dollar Tree. Mm -hmm. You know, drill a hole in them. It looks like we have a lot, and we got a lot going on, and we do. But it's a it's an accumulation over time. Yeah, we also sell cars too. So yeah, back to my roots from eight years of car sales and things like that. I'm the mastermind. Behind, we like, we have everything. multiple streams of income that yeah. we. Tamara can fix iPhones, iPads. Yeah, we just, yep. the more knowledge you have, the better off you'll be. How do you feel about white cups with no glitter? It's a, it's my total enemy. Yes, any color solid cup with no glitter is my enemy because I get glitter in every. Someone was saying that you could get that goo stuff that you put to clean the dust out of your air vents on your car uh -huh. and use it to get glitter up and you it was pretty good. You can also use a, Lint roller. You can use a lint oh yeah, that makes sense. That sticks to all the glue and it gets it up. And she got these silicone mats, so she can actually just turn. She can actually roll yeah, these up and get all that epoxy off. And it, the epoxy the just peels off. So yeah, it's super easy. I just haven't cleaned them yet. I tried cleaning them once and it didn't go like I had wanted, so I just gave up on it. And here we are. So. <laughs> but that was two mir mirabus, mirabus. Yep. Um, I mean, if you guys wanted to see another one, I'm sure we could paint one for you. There's a white cup right there. Yeah. Or has that already got something on it? Mm-mm. No, it's just spray painted white. If you guys wanted to see one more, we could probably do that and then probably knock off because we're going to come back to this opal one later because it's still tacky. Yeah, it'll probably be tonight. I've got to I've got to sand it again and put another layer of epoxy on it. Um, that chunky opal glitter is a little bit harder to get smooth than it is for, like, a... Um, a fine glitter so I will say I sanded that one already twice and epoxied um, twice and then I'll sand it again and I will epoxy you it got again. where'd you get the silicone mats or Amazon right Amazon mm -hmm. hold this I'll I'll see if I can find it on Amazon and tag it he's looking for the link to the Amazon stuff love the silicone mats I love the silicone mats too they are very helpful and it makes it to where I don't ruin the wood that's up underneath my cup turners. You strip a cup, all just slid off. That's pretty smart. I have a lot of marabou and I'm scared to dip. Don't be scared to dip. Mm -mm. It's, it's really not, easy. Do like tobacco dip. So that gives you mouth cancer. Soapy water and use a Brillo pad. And then way. clean them fast. Uh huh. So. I'm using smaller baking mats, yeah, and I was using like the harder silicone cutting mats, like cutting boards, and I was using that at one point too, but every time I would roll them up to try and pop the epoxy off, it would like create little ridges, white ridges on it, so it, I didn't like them as much, so I went for the silicone ones. Can you see the Joe Blow Tacket cup from the live? That was right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is the one that was from the Tacket. The lady that decided to buy it asked to get some chunky gold on the bottom, so that's chunky gold yeah, on the I've bottom as well. I actually sold um, two of them, two other ones besides that but one. That's how the Tacket one turned out. This has epoxy on it, yes or no? Mm hmm. Okay, yeah, it's got epoxy on it, so that's how that one turned out. Yep, and in case you missed it in the beginning, um, when you take our pickle up, put it in your little plastic cup that you use to mix your epoxy. And, well, this one's still kind of tacky, so it's not going to work as well, but you wait until it's cured all the way. And then you pull it, pull it out of your cup, and your epoxy just pops. Oh, did you, Madison? Hi, Anna. She said, right after the tacket live, I bought Joe Blue. Yes. I love the Joe Blow. It's very pretty. Um, and You're welcome, Melissa. And a lot of people didn't know that you could do the tacket method with the opal vines like that. So. <laughs> Annette goes, mine. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, I believe that one is hers. Yep. 
but I've got two other ones. That did you I've see Amy say when you do chunky glitter, how many layers of epoxy do you do? Is four too many? No, it depends on how thick your layers of epoxy are too. Um, so this one I've epoxy three times in total. I use the epoxy method to attach the glitter and then I have epoxy two more times and then I'll epoxy again before I actually do my next step. Um, when you're working with anything that has a stencil or anything that you're going to spray paint like that, you always want to make sure you epoxy it until it's completely smooth. Like this one's going to be another motherhood cup like I posted the other day that I had done. Um, and you want to make sure that you epoxy it until it's completely smooth on the bottom, on the sides, and everything. Now this one is on that. It just got its first layer of epoxy after I put the glitter down. Um, so this one won't have very many layers left to do to get it completely smooth. Um, probably one more layer and we'll be good to go. But the opal chunky glitters or any chunky glitter um, is a little bit more difficult to actually get it to be to be smooth. Lisa said, sorry, she's late. She's watching your other live. She's trying to absorb everything. <laughs> Irma said, what is Tacket? We, we did a live on it. We did a live on, on Friday night of the Tacket method. Um, this is my black cup that I did with the Tacket method. Um, you can see the holographic glitter on the black. It looks like the rainbow in there. Does that have epoxy on it too? Yes, it has epoxy. That turned out really pretty. Yeah. And I'm going to stick some other stuff on it. It got some other glitter in it, but it'll be fine. But you can see the rainbow effect in it. Um, you use very little glitter for it, and it's a very simple method. Um, so definitely look up that live that I did. Um, I can tag it. Um, and you'll Lindsay said she was, uh, she was stalking the site. I thought it was announced for Joe Blow Junkie. I think it's easy on the eyes, and... Um, Karen said, is it the best way to sell your cups by doing lives and showing them, showing how to make your cups? That's, that's what we're doing at this point because we have people so that are I asking. I like my personal business page or my personal Facebook page where I sell a lot of my cups. I don't go live on there. Um, I really just post pictures of all my cups and people see them there and they're like, ooh, I want one like that. Like yesterday, it's all about word of mouth as well. So I made a, I made quite a few Alice in Wonderland cups. And I used a full water slide wrap on an opal base. Um, so you can see it behind there. It's a, it's a clear water slide on the opal base. And one of my customers posted it in her group that's called... All um, About Alice or something. All About Alice in Wonderland. And I had a lady reach out to me. Not only did she order that cup, but she went and looked at my um, Facebook business page. And she ordered three other cups from me. So, and she's all the way in California. Um, so, word of mouth is huge. Um, people talk to other people. I had another customer that ordered a Clorox cup from me. Um, she posted it on her personal Facebook page, tagged me in it, and my business page in it. And um, her sister-in-law came and bought, what was it, 21 of them from me. She bought 21 of the same purple Clorox Centiva cups. Um, yeah, I like those back there. So, word of mouth is huge. Um, everybody looks at your Facebook page, your business page. They look at all your photos and all of your cups that you have, customer reviews. Um, they can see all of that. So, those are all really good things that you want to do. You want to post pictures, really good pictures of all of your cups. Um, I had one go out yesterday and it was the, it was the, um, the baby shower cup. And I forgot to grab pictures of it. So I messaged my customer and said, hey, can you send me some pictures of the cup? I completely forgot to take good pictures of it. And she said, of course. She not only tagged me in the post with the pictures that she took, but she also tagged me in the post where um, the girl that received the cup as a baby shower gift, um, she tagged me in her post with her. And she contacted me today and asked me if I could make baby bottles and sippy cups and other things like that. So it's all about word of mouth. It's all about people seeing your product um, and it being amazing and flawless and something for everybody to talk about. You know, because I went from doing car titles and raising two kids to now everybody wants to buy a cup for me from all the way Canada, Florida, New York, California, like Texas. I've sent them everywhere. And even what was it, Ireland? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Lisa said for a Tacket Cup are Andromeda and Allure, ones that can be used. 
And have you used dry set more than once, more than once on a cup? If you're talking about quick set, Geraldine, I want to make sure I'm understanding what you're asking. Then yes, she's done several quick set layers. Yes, Allure is a holographic glitter. You can tell because when you hold it up to the light, you can see the rainbow effect just from the bottle itself. And I don't know that I have the other one. Um, Beachcomber is one. Beachcomber, that's one. Some other blues up there. I don't know that I have that second one that you mentioned, which is very odd. But Bonnie says, Is there a set price that you charge? Asking as a reference for myself to start out with. Um, Hi, Glorvet. It just depends on the size cup and how intense the details are. Of Karen it. says, it's You better. do amazing cups. Thanks. Brittany says, Because you're awesome. I try. Um, so, anything with a chunky glitter is going to be a little bit more. Anything glit with glitter is going to be more just because I had to buy my glitter. Um, that I go, you know, like my, um, my 20 ounce cup is $35, my four, my 30 ounce, that's my 20 ounce cup is $35, my 30 ounce cup is $45, hey, Corey. and then $5 extra for glitter or glow. Um, and if it's both, sometimes depending on who it is, I may, you know, just do the glow in for free, but you do have to do two extra layers for the glow powder. Um, than the glitter uh, because you want to make sure that you have full coverage of that glow powder. Thanks, mixed Lisa. In your epoxy. Um, Melissa, don't be scared to make a business page. Mm -hmm. I mean, to be honest, that's that's actually generated a good bit of business from us because not only is it a place for people to go to, but it's also you can boost the posts. Yeah, you can. You can, boost you the can posts. pay three dollars a day if you can afford it and run it for a week, and people will see that. And we got a ton of orders and it off pops of that. Up on ads on your face in your on area anybody else's facebook page so i can um i can choose that i want people from south carolina georgia and florida to see it because those are my neighboring states um and i could probably throw a rock to the south carolina border so um you can choose your audience ages 25 to 50 and all that good jazz so there's a holographic lot is the one to use for the tacket method. Yeah. Or an opal, a fine opal. Lisa yeah. says she, she sees it now, the rainbow effect. She said, yeah. I can see it, the rainbow effect. You're a gem and a dynamic duo. Thanks, Lisa. Yeah. What was the gold glitter you used with Joe Blow? Um, that is Halo from the Glitter Craze. We live in Georgia. And what I is that? some extra 24 carat onto it. What is that striped cup in the back left, the black and white one? This one, it's nothing yet. It was just something I was messing with. And then this one is my bad word cup. And then this one is a super cool effect. Yeah, I did sand it so you can't see the super cool effect. It's almost in a Milky Way type thing. Um, but I just have to epoxy it. I sand it very well. So once I re-epoxy it, it'll shine back up and you'll be able to see the effect a lot more. Uh, Brittany said, have you done a glow tutorial yet? Um, I did do a glow. On the peekaboo wine glasses you did. I also did it on the Deadpool cup and the Mud cup when we were doing the mm -hmm. Carol Baskin peekaboo. So I did that in the background. I just mixed a little bit of the glow powder in with your epoxy and stir it really well after you want to add your glow powder after you Laura make sure says, is your strip cup for sale? Which one? This one? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. I just got to put a, a word on it or something. Reach something out to us, Glorvet, if you want it. Yeah. Um, yeah, but yeah, she has done a glow tutorial. Um, Melissa said, that's what I'm scared of. It's talking about the business page. She said, does she still love it as much as when she started for fun? Um, I think it's just because I'm so tired. So, you know, I have... I, I'll, I'll answer. I think it's the yes end, though. I think she, she enjoys doing them now. Live, I think, more so yeah, than doing them when people the aren't. And, because you guys keep her company. And also, at the same time, she knows that it's helping people. She knows that it's helping you guys. And she and she loves helping people. So that's the main thing. Um, but I can tell that she's burnt out. And she has her moments where she gets burnt out. But she still enjoys doing them. She she The problem with her is that she there's, all, there's new methods and stuff that she's always wanting to try. And, and can't try them because 
she has cups for orders of methods that she already knows how to do. So she doesn't have time to do the methods she wants to learn how to do. And so. even like with the tacket method, my customers don't, either they haven't seen that method before or I haven't made a lot of cups before or with that method to show lots of examples on my, on my Facebook page. So my customers don't order the tacket method because they don't see a lot of it and they don't see a lot of it because I don't have orders for it or some of the other cooler methods like the one that I'm going to do with this opal cup. Um, people have never seen it before. It's a new method and they haven't really seen anything like that so they're not going to order something that they don't know what it is or what it's called or anything like that. So I think it's just, I don't know, I, I want to do the fun stuff. Like I want to do the fun, fun cups. Um, and I am also tired all the time. So. She always likes to do the complex stuff. Like she, in the beginning, she used to ask her customers all the time, tell me something that you don't think I can do. Yeah, because she always wanted to push herself to go farther and farther. That smoke cup with the flames came with is my customer decided that he wanted to push my limits and see if I could do something. But his was originally just, oh, you know, I want real looking flames on it, you know, and that's it. Like, do like a black cup and real looking flames. And instead, I did the smoke method on the cup and the real looking flames. And it looked like the bottom of the cup was on fire and that smoke was, you know, barreling up the side of the cup. Uh, so Robin said, dang it, now I have to go buy these paints. <laughs> um, Lisa said, this may have been asked, can you do tack it over a hydro dip or alcohol colors? Um... I would think so, yeah. I would probably try like a silver or something over like the watercolors, uh, the watercolor alcohol inks. That would probably be really cool. Um, Claudia, to answer your question, I'm immune to the glitter at this point. She asked about what, what I think about all the glitter. I, I'm immune to it. She has so much of it now that it's like, it's inevitable that it's going to be everywhere. In the beginning, I was like, I hate this stupid glitter, but now it's, I, you kind of embrace it. Now I'm just fabulous, so. Yeah, now he sparkles everywhere he goes. Every yeah, my boss is like, you got glitter on your face. I'm like, I had glitter on my face every day, Randall. What do you want me, what do you want from me? Yeah. We love you guys, too. We appreciate you guys spending time with us. We appreciate you coming on to our lives every single week. And tagging Two me and three times a week. Cups that you did from the tutorials that I've done. I really enjoy seeing that. I really like when I wake up in the morning and I have, you know, all these posts that I'm tagged in because I helped somebody or something like that. It really shows me that I'm doing what I want to do, which is help people. Um, I just really have a helping mentality. Jean so says that. you get burned out with everything at least once. That's true. Yeah. Balancing everything is hard. I have orders like crazy for everything and it's hard. And my kids aren't little anymore is what Brittany said. I'm out of the. I'm out on the business page for now, but soon I'll have to because of Tammy and the damn sales, is what Melissa said. Um, yeah. Lisa said y'all are gonna come here for a couple of days so you guys can watch the kids and us girls are gonna craft. I don't agree with that. We're coming there to have a, a vacation, no, get away from all this. Meaning to have a vacation. She's talking about another trip. Oh, well, I'm, <laughs> this coming up weekend, whenever we go to spend time with y'all, we are not gonna be crafting. Sorry, not sorry. That's my opinion. You can get mad if you want to. Yeah. Lisa. We're meeting in Jacksonville, so. We're in Georgia, so we're having to drive. And, but she's going to be driving, too. It's going to be nice. We're yeah. going to enjoy ourselves. We're, it's kind of a meet-in-the-middle type. Lindsay thing. says, orders take up all my time. I feel my cups could be so much more amazing, but they just want simple. That's where Heather yes, struggles. That's she's where I struggle. Heather, Heather, I love her to death, <laughs> but she adds things to the customer's orders. Even though she has a ton of them, she's like... I know that you just want it to be like this, but I'm going to do this, this, and this, so that way it's extra fabulous, not just for the fact of making it a better cup, but so that she can display methods that she hasn't got a chance to display, and the customers usually just roll with it. She has some that are like, nah, I don't like that. And, and other ones that are like, okay, I trust your judgment. Yeah, a lot of them, a lot, a lot of my customers just like, do your thing, and I'm like, Okay, cool, whatever. Yeah, Melissa, <laughs> well, I can't. Sometimes that throws a I wasn't immune in the beginning. Things, and I'm like, oh, I don't know what to do to this cup. And if I do this, I don't know if they're going to like it. Or what if I do that? And they may not like it. And so, yeah. <laughs> Lisa said, Cameron, we have a pool, not a kiddie pool. We had one. We did. And, she, and, that, and took our, a knife to the side of it. Well, only because our, ki our kids swam in it maybe twice. Yeah. Well, Christian was too little to be We'll probably be going live again just to go over... 
this opal side. Or yeah, we may update you via pictures. And uh, Oh, Marley asking the hard hitting questions now. She said, What is a cup you haven't done that you really want to do? I don't know. I think a storyboard. Yeah, but so I have another method that me and uh, Tammy were talking about, which was doing it with a different style cup. Um, so I'm doing my research on that to see if I can find something more amazing than the storyboard cup. Um, with the hopes of making something that's like the storyboard cup, but not really. Um, if that makes sense. It probably doesn't make sense. But I am working on another method style cup. That's going to be like a storyboard, but not a storyboard cup. <laughs> Brittany says she's jealous of our green grass. <laughs> <laughs> that was random. I love that. Um, Melissa said, I wanted to add so badly to my last order, but didn't. Because it could have been so much prettier, but it was less work for her, so she went with it. Ryan says, retreat. I'm sure there are lots of us that would show up. Probably. She, Because yeah, someone earlier, they said, y'all should do a retreat. Tell me, we, you and I. That would be fun. Would be I mean, fun. we we don't mind. I mean, because when yeah, it comes down to it, we we were talking about we were talking about, and this is something that maybe we can get together because we're in Georgia. And I don't know, if we our well, our COVID I was also numbers aren't talking high. Talking about doing like the crafting parties. It's kind of like the. That's what I was just about to say. The wine, drink and paint, or wine and paint, or whatever, and it's kind of like that. But you do like a crafting type ordeal. And everybody comes, and you have all of your products laid out, and you they use stuff, and they pay a certain amount to get in, and a certain amount to, you know, to craft and make whatever cup they want to make. Um, and you can also limit it to the styles, you know, like a wood grain, or a tacket method, or something else. Um, and then you just epoxy their cup after they're done crafting or doing we'll whatever ship it. they want to it. Yeah. Yeah, so that's something we've been toying with the idea of doing. Yeah, but now this whole COVID thing hit and nobody wants to be in anybody else's home. Claudia so. said, do you like doing hydro dipping? If so, what type of spray paint works best? Um, I like hydro dipping. I use the Marabou's. I've seen people use the spray paints and it it's caused a lot of problems. Um, the spray paint dries very quickly. Um, so they don't, they aren't able to dip it fast enough. Um, before the paint dries on top of the water, and <laughs> we so, got we got a package, guys. Sorry, no, that's what I she. Think it's Melody. Oh, true. Yeah, well, somebody's coming to pick up a couch. We might have to dip out, dip out, guys. Um, hey, you want to be on the live? No. Okay. <laughs> Melody watches our lives a lot of times. Um, Karen says she's just gonna order a cup from you and let your imagination just make it. Oh, those are my favorite ones. I did a cup that was like a Harry Potter. Um, what was it? Yeah, that Harry Potter fantastic collage piece. cup. That turned yeah, out fantastic. I did a peekaboo with it so that the purple glitter from underneath like came through for the words of all of the different movies that she wanted on the cup. So that one turned out pretty awesome. But, but alright guys, we're going to head out. Um, we're definitely going to keep that idea in mind about doing the um, design on a dime with wine mix up thing that we're talking about doing here. We'll probably just end up renting a building and putting a ton of tarp down and have you guys come in and we'll just wreck the place and clean up afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Big glitter everywhere. But yeah, we'll come back later, probably nine thirty tonight if nobody else is going live and do the second part to this opal cup um with the alcohol inks. Um it's actually a pretty nifty little idea that I saw someone do. Um and I believe I added her to this group. Um so that because it wasn't my See you idea. Later, Karen. I'm not the original creator of the idea so yeah all right guys well we're gonna dip out we gotta go help load a couch we love y'all we'll see y'all later tonight okay